guys, it's Kimmy, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some middle school advice because I know some people that watch my channel might be going into middle school, so... Ooh. I'm going into high school this year, and after three years of middle school, I feel like that gives me enough experience to be able to tell you some things that hopefully are helpful. So, I wrote down like two pages of things as I thought of them, so they're not in any particular order. So the first one, which is something I really wish I could go back and tell my fifth grade self was, don't take classes because of who's in them. So in fifth grade, I took band because I liked this one boy and he was taking band. So I took it and I, I was in band for three years because of it. So I honestly wish I could go back and not take band, but the second one is always take the extra credit because some teachers don't give extra credit and they're usually, they sound really difficult, but when you do them, like they're, they're just helping you understand the material more. So not only are they beneficial to your grade, but they will help your future grades. I don't know, extra credit is just a good idea, so take the extra credit. The third one is know that your relationships won't last. Don't stress about middle school relationships because they're not going to last more than a year. So like, And don't get caught up saying I love you to a boy that you started dating two days ago. So, um, The fourth one is be nice to everybody and that includes your teachers because if you're nice to your teachers then they'll probably help you out and be nicer to you which gives you better grades and you get away with more stuff in your classes that way and that also includes being nice to the ugly kids because they get really hot in high school if you can go on every single field trip and i cannot stress this enough because you may think that like you're oh you're too cool to go on like a field trip but no you're not because i had the most fun when I was on like field trips with my friends, it's just an excuse to get out of school for a day and like go somewhere new and ride the bus with your friends. Like ugh, field trips are just so much fun. So always take the opportunity to go on those because there's not gonna be many in high school. The next one is it's not like the movies. So however, my middle school was kind of clicky. Like there were like groups of friends, but everybody pretty much got along with each other. But you don't have kids like being shoved into lockers or anything, there's none of that. Well, my school didn't have lockers, so I can't really say anything about that, but it's pretty much everybody's pretty chill, and yeah, it's not how Ned's Classified says it is, so. The next one is stay out of drama because you won't even remember it in a few months. I cannot tell you any detail about any of the fights or any of the arguments or drama that went on 6th, 7th, or 8th grade. So just stay out of it, don't talk in it, or else you're going to get caught up and you're going to have people not liking you for no reason and reasons that won't matter in a few years. So The next one is do after school activities. Whether they're at school or they're not at school, try something out. It really expands your friend groups and it gives you something busy to do so that you're not at home every single night. I did NJHS in 8th grade and that was so much fun. Being at school after school hours sounds pretty lame, but honestly it's so much fun. Like we helped set up some of like the school activities and being at school when there's nobody there is so much fun because you can just roam the halls and do whatever you want. So if you want to try something like that out or try out like basketball or soccer or dance or math club I did the math club for a little while so just whatever it is try something that out because it really helps make your middle school experience so much better the next one is teachers were once students and I finally figured this out in eighth grade my language arts teacher and I were kind of like close I guess like she was the first teacher that made me realize that yo teachers were once students too like they know everything they know what's going on teachers aren't dumb they were once in your shoes like they know about like relationships that are going on like they aren't blind they know that you did not study for the test like they know a lot like and if you ask them for help about things they'll definitely be there like they're, that's their job is to be there and help you so don't be afraid to ask them for help because one day they were in your shoes and they needed help from their teachers so the next one is don't be afraid there's nothing to be afraid of 
just walk in the first day of middle school with confidence and don't be worried because everybody can sense who's worried or not. There's really no reason to be, so... The next one is everybody's going through an awkward phase and this one I didn't realize till 8th grade. You're the last worry in somebody else's eyes because everybody's stressing, especially in 6th grade. Like I used to think that it was such a big deal what clothes you're wearing or how your hair looked that day and it doesn't matter, like nobody cares. The next one is don't get into troubles with teachers who let you eat in class or charge your phone. Those teachers are the best teachers and don't you ever dare to get on their bad side because there aren't very many of those teachers. So next page. This one is so important and it's to save the notes you write in class. Whether you put them into a box, which is what I do, or you put them into like their own little folder, save the notes that you write to each other in class because it's so much fun like a year or two years or even three years later to read them back and like because you usually are talking about like the drama or something like that or like who's dating who and all the notes and three years in the future you like totally forget that those people were ever like a thing so it's so much fun reading notes that you wrote to each other in class so make sure you save them you might not think of it while you're writing the notes but save them so the next one is expand your friend groups but keep your best friend group small so i have about four or five really close best friends and everyone else i'm just like friends with or I try to be friends with and it honestly really helps you out because you don't want to have anybody hating you or any type of drama like that so just try to be friends with everybody along with that um, is make a friend in every single class because you don't want to have a class where you have no friends and nobody to talk to you because then you're going to hate that class so if you just make a friend in every single class which honestly for me isn't really that hard because I'm so extroverted but if you're introverted, just like ask for pencil and go on from there or sit next to somebody on the first day of school because everybody is looking for a friend on the first day of school. Because if you have a friend in your class, you can ask them like what homework you missed or you can cheat off their papers. Like honestly, there's so many benefits. Um, the next one is go to the dances. They might be lame, but at least you could say you went there. And honestly, those are just the times when everybody's trying to have a good time and you're dancing and you get to get dressed up and school dances are just like my favorite thing, so. Oh, the next one is don't run your classes. Please don't be the kid who runs their classes. Honestly, when I was in eighth grade, I just stopped caring and I, was, I wasn't I was late to every single class, but I was like stepped in the class when the bell rung. Like I was never there early because I wanted to talk to friends in the hallway. So just, especially don't Naruto run to class. That's, don't. Make sure to bring your headphones to school. That's all I'm going to say about that. This one I find really important now that I'm like out of 8th grade and going in high school. But you can look good, but don't try to glow up until after 8th grade because that's when it's really going to matter. For all my upcoming 6th graders, 8th graders don't care about you. They don't know who you are. The last thing that they're thinking about is the new 6th graders that are coming into the school. So don't worry about them. They're not going to be mean to you. This one is so important to me. Do not delete photos of yourself. I personally wish I had more photos from sixth grade and seventh grade that I didn't delete, but I don't because I was like, ew, I like girls, delete, but keep them because when you're in eighth grade, you're gonna wanna post those photos so people see how much you've grown up. Don't hang out with people you know are bad news. I'm sorry to say it, but kids in middle school are kind of judgmental and they're gonna base their thoughts off of you and the people you hang out with. So don't hang out with people you know are trouble or know that are gonna get you into trouble because it ties in with the next one, which is no matter what you do, your reputation never goes away. Even if you were to spend your summer donating your whole entire time to helping kids in need, like what you did the, the year before, like people won't forget about that because people always remember the negative things about people more than they do the positive things so just try and stay away from doing anything bad and once you especially once you get into seventh or eighth grade like you'll realize more of what i'm talking about you little you little fifth graders or sixth graders yeah so always be cautious and be aware of what you're doing because it won't rub away and sadly 
a bunch of my old friends have fallen in the pit and they're trying to recover from what they did in seventh grade and it's not going away and when they go into high school kids are going to know them from what they did in seventh grade so this one super important i didn't realize this until seventh grade but ask kids about tests and what i mean by this is if you have an, an english test in second period ask the kids who had english first period what the test was about and which questions are hard so that you'll get in there and you'll be confident about some of the things that you might have not been confident about before first period you know like oh look good on picture day um don't forget picture day exists because yearbook photos this is more for my seventh and eighth grade girls because this didn't really happen to anybody in sixth grade because like in sixth grade everybody was so innocent but I'm just gonna be straight up with y'all. The boys have a group chat for booty pics so don't send booty pics. The last one's kind of difficult because I don't want to be the person that tells you to fit in and stuff but please don't wear colored lipstick like blue or purple lipstick. Don't wear blue eyeshadow to school and definitely do not bring a rolly backpack to school if you don't want to be met in front of. So guys, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope something in this video helped you out or made you feel less worried about middle school. Honestly, those three years flew by so fast and I low-key wish I could go back, but I don't because I'm super excited for high school. But just don't be afraid. It's not that big of a deal. That's all I can really say about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. Hit that bell if you want to. Bye, guys. Hit it, Fergie. All the time I turn around, brothers gather around. Always looking at me up and down, looking at my... I just want to say it now. I ain't trying to round up drama, little mama. I don't want to take it man. And I know I'm coming off just a little bit conceited. And I keep on repeating how the boys want to eat. But I'm trying to tell that I can't be treated like clientele. Because they say she delicious.